Let's see what a protein shake does to my glucose level. Uh, many of you have asked me to test different types of protein powder. So today I'm going to test the first one I found in the store, which is this little protein shake, and we'll see exactly what impact it has on my glucose level. So I know there are people who say that protein shakes are a very good solution for maintaining energy, staying in shape, and building muscle, but there is still a big debate because these products are also considered ultra processed and not necessarily ideal for blood sugar levels. So we're going to test that on myself and see exactly what it results in. Here, uh, I have a protein shake that is about 120 calories. On inside, there are three grams of carbohydrates with only one gram of sugar. There is also one gram of fiber and 23 grams of protein, so really a lot of protein. Two grams of fat in there, there is about one gram of saturated fat. So, it's really very, very rich in protein and very low in sugar. Honestly, on paper, it's quite reassuring. It's rather good for health. Now, I'm very curious to see what it's actually going to do to my body. To make a good comparison, we'll first check my fasting glucose level, and we see that I'm at 92 milligrams. After five minutes, uh... After 15 minutes... After 30 minutes... After one hour... So, in the end, we see that the glucose spike went from 92 to 113 milligrams. So, it's a glycemic rise of only 21 milligrams. It's nothing at all, it's completely acceptable. So, a shake of proteins like that, in terms of glycemic health, is completely acceptable. And if you often consume proteins like this, tell me in the comments. Um, I'm curious to see your feedback.